Thank you. The first item for business this afternoon is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is Bishop John Keenan from Paisley. Bishop John. Every day the church celebrates Holy Mass, and the gospel reading for today, which Pope Francis and parishes all over the world have read, is this. Jesus said, you've learned you must love your neighbor and hate your enemy, but I say, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. In this way, you'll be sons of your Father in heaven. For he causes the sun to rise on bad men as well as good, and his rain to fall on honest and dishonest men alike. For if you save your greetings for your brothers and sisters, are you doing anything exceptional? You must therefore be perfect just as your heavenly Father is perfect. Here, Jesus gives us a new idea about being perfect or how to become the politician of the year in his book, if you like. And it is that even if our politics must be founded on loyalty to our party, our integrity should go further and be rooted in loving service to the whole parliament, above and beyond partisan lines. The kind of loving service the gospel speaks about is not easy, but its values are already written into the very furniture of this chamber. We could have followed Westminster and its adversarial layouts with benches confronting each other on both sides. Instead, we opted for an opened out circle, pointing into a center of consensus and reaching out beyond itself to include everyone. This, friends, should also be the landscape of the politician's soul. The good MSP knows he has opponents, but hopes to be no one's enemy even if she has to face what from time to time has hallmarks of hatred from sections of society, she does not wallow in persecution complexes. And for as long as he is in power, he does not want to govern in a way that prefers only his own supporters, but with a heart that serves the whole people so that we all suffer rainy days together and all enjoy the sunshine equally and to the full. So we pray, dear friends, for business today. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for our elected representatives here in this place. And we pray that as this day begins, they come ready to greet all our peers of all hues so that our democracy can grow ever richer in the service of our common humanity and of our great nation. Amen. Now, before we move to this afternoon's business, uh, this is, I'm conscious this is our first meeting in Parliament since the horrific shooting in Orlando in the early hours of Sunday morning. I'm sure Parliament uh, will want to know that I have written on your behalf to the President of the Florida Senate, to the Speaker of the House of Representatives in Florida, and also to the principal officer in the American consulate here in Edinburgh to express our condolences at this cowardly shooting. Uh, I've also expressed our solidarity with the people of Florida, with members of the LGBTI community in Florida and beyond. But I would also invite all members, if you can, to join me now in offering a minute's silence to offer our respects to the people of America. <laughs> 